At 6 o'clock, the South Florida self-storage business has enjoyed a boom during COVID-19 due to the impact from people moving here to jump into the so-called tech boom in South Florida. And the influx is not just from New York and California. CBS 4's Hank Tester reports another group of people has been heading this way for a long time. The rush to Miami touted by the Miami mayor and civic boosters, real estate market on fire, rent sky high, and what's right up there with those big numbers? Storage units. You know, it's about supply and demand. It sounds like a cliche, but the Miami area right now is uh, one of the hot topics. Yardy Matrix researches and reports on multifamily office and self-storage properties across the U.S. Clients need to know who's on the move, where they're going, the impacts. Well, Miami, with all the buzz, is a prime focus of research with all those people supposedly moving in from New York. We have seen migration, certainly not to the significant degree that a lot of people want to paint it. And, you know, a little bit of the misperception is the fact that everybody from New Jersey and New York is moving there. Who else? It's an old Miami story. Foreign investors who once again are buying real estate, locating families here. Think of unrest in Colombia and, of course, Venezuela and other Latin countries moving left politically, which impacts the local home and rental market. Homes and condos short on storage space. An international migration in the Miami area is adding double-digit percentage increases. And what we found in conjunction with renters is that uh, international renters tend to rent longer and they rent larger places. But they still need storage as condos don't have storage. Often single family homes, they have a garage conversion, but no storage. A larger percentage of people, especially in the Florida area, are boomers. Then they're moving and they need to store things uh, because they may downsize to a smaller type of unit than a house that they had but at the same time, they still need the items to be able to store. So popular storage units like the 10 by 10 climate controlled are in short supply. Start at $207 plus tax can quickly accelerate and can be more expensive in central locations where small lockers can go for as much as $146 a month. And I would expect to see that continue to grow, by the way, in a year from now when we have the same conversation, you're gonna have a higher number. Don't be surprised to see more self-storage facilities going up here in South Florida. The demand is here, according to industry observers, and building and zoning issues much easier to navigate in South Florida compared to other states. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.